Hi folks! In this video we're going to review downloading images and fonts in Design Space version 5.2.12 now available for your desktop and laptop, PC and Mac. Keep watching! <laughs> Before we get started, I wanted to show you a little tip. When I first opened my version 5.2.11, it didn't automatically update to version 5.2.12. I realized that my app, even though I had closed it, was still running in the background. So I went to my bottom toolbar, right click on my Cricut icon and quit. Once I did that, it was no longer running in the background. When I opened it, it updated automatically, immediately. So let's go ahead and see this new download feature. I'm going to go to Images. I'm going to select a few images for use offline. Now on the bottom left of my screen, I have a Download button. I will click that, and those images will be downloading for use offline. They're not downloading to my computer, they're downloading into the app. So once those are downloaded, you can see the little check mark that says they're available for use offline. I'm going to unselect those images, and let's say I decide that I don't want this one. I'll choose it again. I can go back to the bottom left of my screen and tap Remove and that image is no longer available for use offline. So let's go onto our blank screen. I'm going to add text. I'm going to select my fonts so that I can choose some fonts to download. You don't need to download system fonts. They're already on your computer, so we're going to select Cricut fonts. I'm going to choose some fonts I'd like to download let's say a child's year. I now have the download tab on the right side. I will select to download and once that font is downloaded I will have the little checkbox that tells me it's available for use offline. Let's go get another font. I'll choose to download. Again, it's going to give me the little checkbox when it's ready for use offline. I've changed my mind. I don't want that font. I'm going to click Remove, and it will no longer be available for use offline. So let's go offline. I'm going to my Wi-Fi icon on the top right of my screen, and I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off. This will happen automatically if you're out of your Wi-Fi zone. Let's say you're gone camping with your laptop. You can now see on the top left of my screen that I have the offline image. We'll go to Insert Images, and we'll only be able to see those images that are available for offline. I'm going to choose this hashtag, Be Kind, and insert it to my canvas. I'll now go to text, go to fonts, and I can see the font that I downloaded, the Cricut font that I downloaded, and some of my system fonts that are available for use offline. I'm going to choose this Cricut font, and I'm just going to type some text. Hashtag be kind to everyone. So that's how easy it is to use the new feature for downloading images and fonts. I also want to give you a reminder. If you're downloading access images with an active access subscription, you want to go back online at least every 30 days. Set your calendar for less than 30 days as a reminder to go online. This will confirm that you have a valid access subscription. If you don't bother to do that, the next time you try to use those access images offline, 
they won't be available for use. So don't forget. I hope you've enjoyed this video and find it helpful. Please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.